2024 is set to be a big year for Microsoft Flight Simulator, even ignoring Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, the next instalment in the Flight Sim series. With plenty of epic aircraft releases to look forward to across this year, in today's video I revisit my old format and update you all on the new aircraft set to be released for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 across 2024. The usual disclaimer does apply, this list is not 100% accurate, it features both payware and freeware aircraft set to be released for PC and indeed maybe Xbox, but things will change. Last year's video was about 70% correct with the 2023 releases, hopefully in today's video this will be higher, but if you do have any additional releases that I've forgotten about, I'm only human, do let me know in the comments. On that note, once you've all very kindly liked and subscribed to the channel, on with 2024's aircraft releases. Aeroplane Heaven has a very busy year ahead of them with the hopeful release of three individual aircraft. All vintage British warbirds from the World War II era. These will all be payware and should come to both PC and Xbox. We will have a new variant of the iconic Supermarine Spitfire. This time it is the Mark I early prototype variant which first flew in the mid 30s. Alongside that Spitfire we will also have the Mark V Spitfire, again payware for PC and Xbox. We should also be getting the equally noble Mark I Hawker Hurricane and indeed the iconic RAF bomber, the Avro Lancaster, the latter of which has looked complete for some time now but it seems 2024 should bring about its release. Now sticking with the military theme, RKM and Apex Simulations are set to release the AH-64 Guardian, indeed this is the mighty Apache, it seemed to be ready to release at the end of 2020 but it obviously hasn't appeared just yet. This will be payware and if all goes well it will be available for both PC and Xbox. It will even have a functional nose camera so you can spy on your friends from the helicopter and spread some freedom about. Now sticking with military helicopters it looks like we should be seeing the Miltech Simulations CH-47 Chinook within the next year. From the screenshots provided this payware helicopter looks to be in an advanced stage of development. A really good selling point to me is that all the sounds have been recorded from the real aircraft inside and out by Miltech Simulations. It was scheduled for an end of 2023 release but quite obviously this has pushed into this year. Now over to Blackbird Simulations, formerly known as Milviz, they will have three releases across this year, all military payware by the looks of it. The iconic Huey which will be Blackbird Simulations first helicopter attempt in the sim and from the video previews it will be modelled to a high degree of accuracy. We will also see the SR-71 Blackbird, a really interesting addition that has been in the works for some time now. Indeed, despite being entired in real life, a large amount of information of this aircraft is still classified so it'll be interesting to see how the Blackbird Simulations team pull it off. I know you'll be able to fly this thing um, from the front seat but not the rear seat or at least that won't be fully usable. And finally they should also be releasing the T-6A Texan, a two-seat military trainer used by the United States Air Force for primary pilot training. As I said all of these are payware and if they follow past trends they should be available for both PC and Xbox. Now, now over to DC Designs, now 2024 should bring a minimum of two payware fighter jets from the DC Designs team, the Sukhoi Flanker SU-27 which is set for an imminent release and in partnership with SC Designs, the F5 Tiger II, again an imminent release and here we have a confirmed price of 17 UK pounds, 99 pence, DC Designs strike a nice balance between affordability and fun. The final military aircraft of this list before we move into the airliners is the Tornado GR1, set to be released by Just Flight sometime over the next year using their fantastic P3D model as the base. We should see this European multi-role combat jet in our skies 
very soon. And finally, to finish up on a wacky aircraft before we get into the big guys, the Howard Hughes XF-11 will be released in quarter one of 2024. I have no words for this incredibly wacky looking plane, but if you like the look of it, it will be released as freeware and shortly, presumably, via flightsim.to. A good start, but let's move on to the airliners. 2024 will bring about the PMDG 777, and going off the most recent update from Robert Radatzo, this wide-body Boeing airliner is making superb progress and is currently in beta build 5. It seems like the first variant will be the Boeing 777-200, of course it's payware, and it will be coming for PC and eventually Xbox. It is certainly one of the most anticipated in the list, and I cannot wait to fly transatlantic in this beauty. I know PMDG do get a bit of stick, but their aircraft runs so well on my system. The 737 is a dream, so hopefully we see that with the 777. Now sticking with wide body airliners, 2024 will also bring about the Airbus A350 by Innybuilds. This was an astonishing announcement a few weeks back and we learnt there that we should be getting this payware aircraft in the sim surprisingly this year, although towards the end of it, presumably. Fra frankly, I would not be surprised if this is pushed into 2025 as Innybuilds are working on many other projects including an Airbus A380 which may also come out this year but hasn't been confirmed um, so I'm not really going to include it in this list. But Innybuilds have indeed said we should be getting both the A350-900 and 1000 for PC and Xbox and they've said this year. Whether or not it will be, who knows, but that's what the team have said. It's certainly going to be an exciting year for them. Latin VFR will also be keeping busy with the release of their accessible aircraft on PC and Xbox. This year it features the Airbus A340. Latin VFR will indeed be releasing both the A340-300 and the A340-600. These will be affordable payware for PC and Xbox. And the A340-300 should be released within the next few months. Now do note these are not the highest fidelity, they never really are, but Latin VFR make aircraft to target a mass market and therefore normally at a good price. Now over to Phoenix Simulations with their advanced Airbus software on PC. Aside from the release of version 2 of the mighty Phoenix A320, which brings about a rejuvenated external model among other things, this year will also bring about two additional members of the A320 family by Phoenix Simulations, the Airbus A321 CO and the Airbus A319. Now these will be now these have been announced in a single expansion pack. Uh, they'll be released together at the price of 39 UK pounds, 99 pence. I mean, I think together that is great value. Now, it should also be released in the first part of this year. These will be superb quality. The Phoenix Simulations A320 is absolutely incredible. But because of the use of external software, much like the Phoenix A320, it will be PC only. That being said, if you want a high quality Airbus any builds, we'll be releasing version 2 of the Airbus A320. 20 Neo in partnership with Asobo in the upcoming sim update for both PC and Xbox for completely free by the way which will completely elevate the default Airbus experience. Now sticking with freeware, Horizon Simulations should be releasing their Boeing 747-AF the freighter variant of the default 747 which of course itself has seen numerous enhancements with the aircraft and avionics update. This mod will add features such as a modelled cargo hold and a rather cute opening nose cone. It will be PC only and it will be freeware as it's a mostly cosmetic update and we should see this very soon, perfect to simulate some cargo operations. Now over to some high quality payware, the TFDI designs team are set to fully release their mighty Lockheed Martin MD-11 within the next few months. This aircraft is set for an early 2024 release. This slightly vintage trijet is set to be a feast for those of you who enjoy 
true to life simulation but that will most certainly come at a price with pre-orders opening up at around 80 US dollars or at 80 US dollars that's an exact number I've got no clue why I said around there now some people in the community will already have access to the MD11 as it has been released in forms of early access you will be seeing it on the channel here and it should not be long before the public can fly around in it now onto an aircraft frankly I am surprised we did not see in 2020 the Aerosoft Airbus A330-300. This is an increasingly controversial project that is looking very nice but obviously has some issues behind the scene. It will be playware for both PC and Xbox. If you're on PC and in dire need of an A330, I can only recommend the superb headwind A330 in the meantime. Now back to Boeing, it's time to talk about the 737 MAX by iFly. This is set to be their first release on Microsoft Flight Sim. Indeed, iFly are known for their high-fidelity Boeings on simulators of days gone by. Now, the iFly team have said on the forum that we should see this aircraft in the Sims, in our Sims, in a number of months. Although with a 737 MAX at the moment, hopefully with no holes in the fuselage. We only have a wheel teaser for the moment, so there's not too much to talk about here. It will be payware, and I've got no idea whether or not it's coming to Xbox. Now back into the past, Just Flight will be releasing the Fokker F70 and F100 for payware for both PC and Xbox within the next few months. These vintage Dutch airliners are in fact a still somewhat popular choice for regional airlines with remote destinations, i.e. in Australia. They are looking fantastic from the screenshots Just Flight have extensively provided. I have to say, Just Flight themselves have really excelled within Microsoft Flight Simulator, so I think we can all look forward to this. And going off the sort of price they set for airliners, I expect this to be around 40 to 50 UK pounds on both PC and Xbox. Now, sticking with our friends at Just Flight, we will also be seeing anytime soon now the Avro RJ. Three variants of the Avro RJ the RJ70, 85, and 100. It might look similar to you because this is an updated and modernised version of the British airliner, the BAE 146, which we all know is great fun in the sim already. The Avro RJ does indeed look to be almost done. It will be payware for PC and Xbox. And if you didn't know, the Avro RJ is a lot more modern um, compared to the 146. It features many more conventional modern day features, such as an FMS with LNAV and VNAV and digital cockpit displays. Now, of course, I could not miss the Airbus A380 by Fly by Wire. Now, no release date has been set for this freeware heavy airliner so far, but from the screenshots and progress we have seen on Discord, I think it is safe to say that we may very well see this aircraft this year. That's hopeful, and of course hasn't been confirmed, but a boy can dream. Now, I have actually had a go of this aircraft myself at FS Expo. Indeed, it was in a very early state then, so I didn't get it up in the sky, but from their Discord, it does sound like it's getting on nicely, so who knows? Fingers crossed. 2024 could be the year of the Airbus A380. Now the final airliner set to be released in 2024 is the Boeing 757, payware for PC and Xbox, by Bluebird Simulations in partnership with Just Flight. It will be both the 200 and 300 variant. They should be coming along at an affordable price with the aim of realistic simulation, including the much needed curve of the CRT cockpit screens and the choice of the howling Pratt & Whitney or Rolls-Royce engines. The team of the Bluebird Simulations team have said they are optimistic for a 2024 release. Now that is it with the airliners out of the way to my knowledge. There is surprisingly a really small list of general aviation aircraft that I can be certain to see in 2024 and sadly I cannot find anything about any private jets. Although we have already seen the Phenom 100 by Coxpur, which was on this list when I was writing it. So I guess these sort of projects tend to be on a smaller scale, so that might explain why we are lacking confirmed releases or the proving teasers, so I imagine we'll see plenty more GA aircraft compared to this list, but none have been exactly confirmed yet. That being said, Just Flight will be releasing their Piper PA-38 Tomahawk, which will be their next general aviation release as payware for PC and Xbox. It has been in the works for a while, the team did say that it did stall for some time, but indeed, 
progress is back on track, so we should see it very soon. And finally, Cows will be releasing their high quality rendition of the Diamond DA42. They say it will be the most realistic version of the DA42 to ever grace our virtual skies. From the trailer, it does look exceptional, so I look forward to seeing this popular dual engine trainer in the sim. One thing I want to know is how has a farmyard animal developed an aircraft? That was a terrible joke. Feel free to unsubscribe for that. On that note, there we have it. My comprehensive list of all the aircraft we should see in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 across 2024. Where possible, I have attempted to specify if it will be payware or freeware for PC or Xbox, but I'm only human. If you have any additions, do let me know down below. Hopefully this is good news for us all. 2024 is shaping up to be a fantastic year for Flight Simulation and a terrible year for my wallet. On that bombshell, I'd like to say a big thanks for watching. These videos do take a lot of time, a lot of research, and more importantly, a lot of me messing up while speaking into my microphone and getting aircraft confused. So if you've got anything to add, do let me know down below. On that note, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you've enjoyed. I'll see you very soon. Happy flying, and bye-bye.